Another example on any logic, I'm continuing with a material handling example I started in my previous video where I uh, developed a simple conveyor line model with a spur. Um, so 50% of material generated by the source is going to this direction, 50% to this direction. Um, you can see the process library objects and the uh, blocks uh, used for conveying the material down here. And uh, for this uh, spur, I use the select output uh, statement. Now, um, I also added a station. Um, a station in any logic can be chosen here from the uh, space markup section and um, it can be placed into a conveyor. Um, I do not have to uh, explicitly add a block to um, um, the, the workflow down here. Uh, in order for any logic to recognize um, that there's a station on this conveyor. So the uh, convey block here will uh, consider it automatically without explicitly being told so. Inside the station, I can specify processing times. I can specify the, the capacity, um, which in this case uses the, the batch size. And I can specify whether processing starts when capacity is full or starts when the first agent enters the station. And I choose to start when the capacity is full. Loading can start simultaneously with unloading. Um, so we should see now when running this model of source that generates custom box agents uh, with an interval of 10 seconds. 50% of those as stated in the select output statement here on the probability, 50% go into this direction, 50% go along this direction. And then we have a process here with a batch size 5 and a process time 15 seconds that uh, loads and simultaneously unloads but has a processing time of 15 seconds once uh, the full batch has entered. Um, so let's look. I play the model. I uh, run the model. Uh, I set up the speed a little bit. We can see here this the spur. The model somehow got stuck. I'm going to try to run the model again. Okay, here we go. So let's see. The yeah, process hasn't started yet. The batch size is 5, it's waiting for 1. And now the other ones are queuing. Uh, we had a project out 15 and, and we had simultaneously uh, loading and unloading. As you can also see here. Okay, so again, a very simple, exa simple example. Um, in the next video, um, I'll be adding a resource pool um, and I will be uh, adding assembly workers that have to work at this uh, station in order for the process to be initiated. So this is what we're going to look at in the next video.